assume that the transistor responds instantly to changes of input voltage or current. But that is not correct because transport of current or uh, I mean clock current depends on the when Paul is coming, let me take the call and yes, sir. Shamitra, I got a poor call for a trust to start for a check for me. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. So, what I was telling is, low frequency, in case of low frequency amplifiers, we assume that due to change in voltage or current, the input, output current responds quickly. And that is not the uh, correct things. Because input is having some capacitance and resistance which will offer time constant okay so in this we'll be calculating those input capacitance and resistance and once input capacitance resistance is there means there is a time constant time is required to uh, respond okay at the output after certain delay it will happen another reason you can think of because the the carriers say you are talking about a um, NPN or PNP BJT. BJT. This is not responding properly. Shady, if I consider a NPN BJT, for example, you have studied, so I'll be briefly saying if NPN, then what you do is this one. Uh, this junction, base emitter junction in forward bias, means, uh, say, you can collect, connect a, this way, inside negative terminal of the battery, P side, P side positive terminal of the battery, okay, then it will be forward biased, the negative terminal will be pushing the electrons and electrons will be falling onto the P region, base region. Isn't it? Yes. So, and this electrons crossing this junction and falling into P region are now what? Minor carriers. And they will travel across this junction and uh, they will go into the collector region. So, diffusion of the carriers occur here. Okay. Diffusion of carriers occur. Excess concentration of, say, electrons here, which has, which have come from emitter side and now they are going to diffuse into the other side, collector side. So, this diffusion um,
phi. This is the only original signal. Beam sine omega t plus phi is the original signal. And if the voltage is going to be amplified as a magnitude A, and if the signal suffers a phase change, phase change by angle theta, and the, let, let it be a lead angle, then the output will be written as AVM sine omega T plus phi plus theta. Theta is the lead angle, which can also be written as AVM sine omega within parenthesis T plus T plus theta by omega plus phi. Let me make it close. So therefore, if the amplification is independent of frequency and if the phase shift theta is proportional to frequency or is zero, then the amplifier will preserve in the form of the input signal, although the signal will be shifted in time by an amount d equals to theta by omega. This discussion suggests that the extent to which an amplifier's amplitude response is not uniform and its time delay is not constant with frequency may serve as a measure of lack of fidelity to be anticipated in it. For an amplifier states, the frequency characteristics may be divided into three regions. One is uh, low frequency band, then mid band frequency, another one is high frequency band. Okay. So, in the mid band frequency, the gain remains almost constant, and the low frequency with the frequency. I mean, you will see the gain is changing, and the same thing will happen in the high frequency also. As you increase the frequency in the high frequency band, you will see that gain is falling. Okay, in the low frequency band, if you increase the frequency from zero frequency to higher frequency towards the mid band frequency, then the gain will keep on increasing. Some plot I'll show, yes. This kind of plot you get of the gain. Gain versus frequency plot it is basically. So in the low frequency, you see, starting from zero frequency in this side, there's a, a zero frequency, and up to this point, you, you consider this as a low frequency zone. Frequency here, up to this point, the low frequency region. Then, from say this frequency, maybe and this value, some frequency value is here. X axis is frequency, or frequency divided by frequency. It is normalized. So, up to this point, is high frequency region. In between, some region which is called mid band frequency. That's what is given here. Hmm. The frequency may be divided to three regions. There is a range called mid band frequency over which the amplification is reasonably constant and equal to A. The gain is generated by A and over which the delay is uh, also quite constant. For the present discussion, we assume that mid-band gain is normalized to immunity, say, A0 equals to 1. It is normally valid. In the second or low frequency region, if the starting of the plot I was showing, below the mid-band frequency, an amplifier stage may behave like a simple high-pass filter Hyper circuit as shown here in this diagram. 
I hope you have studied high pass, low pass filters. Aman, have you studied or not? Yes, sir. So, high pass filter is uh, here. I hope you understand. Input signal VI is applied and it is going through the C1 capacitance towards output BO. And one resistance R1 is there. Okay. At low frequency, C1 is having going, going to give you the high resistance. Xc will be 1 upon what? 1 upon twice F. X equals to 1 upon twice Fc. That equation you know. So if uh, frequency is 0, what will be the Xc capacitive reactance is infinite. Infinite. So basically the input signal will not be able to reach the output node, output terminal. So it is going to block. So this is what a high path, but high high frequency will be passing through it. High frequency means your XC will be uh, smaller and signal can go uh, towards the output terminal. So the amplifier, what diagram I have shown, frequency response diagram, is clearly indicating that at low frequency gain is less. We keep on increasing the frequency, then gain will be increasing. So it is behaving like a high pass circuit. Understood? The response decreases with uh, decreasing frequency and the output is really a process zero at F equals to zero. I mean, we are talking about the low frequency region. In the third high frequency region, above mid band, the circuit open behaves like simple low pass circuit. Earlier it was high pass, now we are saying low pass. In this, a low pass RC circuit is shown in figure A. The capacitor C2 is, uh, see how it is connected. R2 is coming in series with the uh, supply, I mean signal VI. Here, if uh, frequency is very high, resistance are process zero. Resistance, I mean capacitive reactance of the C2. So, the output, I mean signal will not the wastage of signal will occur, short, short kind of thing will happen at the output terminal. So you will get less gain as you increase the frequency. So in the third or high frequency region above the band, mid band, the gain will be less. Here it is uh, the not on C equivalent of the circuit shown here. Instead of VI mm, in series with R2, here R2 is coming in parallel with the current I. The total frequency characteristic indicated in this figure, all the three regions have been shown. The starting portion is the low frequency region and the medial frequency range is the mid band frequency and the right side portion is the high frequency region. This is the uh, log log plot of the amplitude frequency response. And it is called board plot. You were aware of this, I think. We have done the experiment in uh, previous semesters in this load plotting and all you have done, Aman? Yes, sir. In first semester. Our first semester is done. So you are aware of this board plot and all? What is board plot, etc. Et sir, not much. But... Not much, but uh, it is called board plot. Remember some questions may be asked. Low frequency response from the circuit of this figure we find now we'll try to see some equations okay. transfer function or gain 
then what is the frequency hello hello frequency that we are going to see basic things we have understood so we find using the complex variable s where s equals to j omega or uh, j twice pi omega equals to twice pi where omega is the angular frequency and f is the normal frequency we find using the complex variable s vo of s equals to vi of s r1 divided by r1 plus 1 upon sc1 this is understood i hope uh, uh, for a, a low pass filter or high pass filter this kind of expression you understand yes i understand understood okay so which also can be written as shown here vi of s equals to h by s plus 1 upon r1 c1 just nothing it has been done simplification has been done and uh, we get this expression that the voltage transfer function at the low frequencies al of s equals to v of s by v i of s has 1 0 0 and pole you know of a uh, function having s Mm -hmm. Complex variable is Aman. I studied now. All zero. Yes, I studied. Yes. Okay. So we can understand that there is a zero, zero at h equals to zero and pole. One pole is there. That is h equals to minus one upon R C one. I hope it is not difficult to understand, and you have studied in network theory somewhere in electrical by electrical teacher. Isn't it? Or our teacher was there? Was the teacher our department or other department? Other department. Mm, electrical department. So, for real frequencies, S equals to J omega equals to J twice pi F, this equation 12 dash 1 can be written as AL of JF equals to 1 upon 1 minus. J F L by F, where F L is uh, equals to one upon twice pi R one C one. Is it understood this equation? All of you carefully see and tell me whether F L can be expressed as one upon twice pi R one C one or not, because this all will be in, used in future also future slides. Understood, Aman? Look at carefully. Uh, no, last expression I did. See, FL, I mean, in that expression, R1C1, they are not 12 dash 1, you have S by S plus 1 plus R1C1. Okay? And S equals to J omega equals twice pi F. Okay? So, in this equation, 12 to this, we are replacing 1 upon twice pi r1 c1 etc mm, because we have written j 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 1 minus j into fl by f okay so some replacement has been taken place so we are writing fl equals to 1 upon 1 by twice pi r1 c1 it is possible or not check up Everything is given here. H is uh, also given. H equals to J omega. J equals to twice pi. With this possible, Pratham are you there? Arsti party. Yes, Busra, nobody there. Yes, see in this from this equation, this part, are you getting this one or not? Are you able to get it? 
yes, or not? Huh? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Then AL AL is what? Gain. L is gain, no? L is gain. B O divided by B I. B O of H divided by B I of H. A L is basically actually I am writing with left hand. My right hand is not working. Okay. What operational? A L is what? I am. I mean not lefty, but I am. I am bound to write with uh, left hand only so my handwriting will be very very bad so it is b o of a is divided by b i of a okay so this can be written as what r1 by R1 by R1 plus 1 upon HC1. Yes or no? Yes, sir. HC1. So now, what has been done here that you are getting this and this, this one? Numerator and denominator has been, first of all, divided by R1 No, R1 Yeah S Suppose S R1 R1 uh, All of a sudden S uh, uh, For uh, R1 You are writing S etc Is it not possible to write In this way? Possible. possible? Yes sir mm. It's possible Nothing, yeah, nothing is there You have divided the numerator and denominator by R1 and then multiplied also, rather you have done what? It is something like this, H divided by R1. Same thing is here also. Is divided by R1. Is it not? Am I correct? Yes, sir, correct. So that way it is done. And then based on the value of H given here, given here, the equation 12 2 has been written. Okay. Now can you Achieve it so that we can go ahead. Can you get this expression? L. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can yes, sir. You do that? Okay. We will go ahead. So, we got the value of, uh, I mean, this thing gain uh, equals to this, where FL equals to this, 1 upon twice by R1C1. Now, the magnitude AL. And the phase lead for uh, theta L of the gain are given by uh, this expression, okay, where theta L is an octane of F L by F. And at the frequency F equals to F L, L is going to be 1 upon square root of 2 equals to 0.707. Is it possible or not? Put the value of f equals to fl. What do you get? So this is going to be 1. This is going to be 1. So it is uh, 1 square 1. So 1 plus 1, 2. Square root of 2. 1 upon square root of 2 or not? This expression l. l is going to be this or not? Yes, sir. It will be. At a frequency... F equals to FL. 
right? It's going to be one upon L is going to be one upon square root of two, which is 0.707. Whereas in the mid-band region, if much greater than F L, okay, and A will be tending to one. Hence. FL is that frequency at which the gain has fallen to 0.707. At mid band, it will be one, but when frequency is less, you see that gain is falling to 0.707 of mid band frequency. This is sometimes called three D frequency. Minus three D frequency, and see times the band mid band frequency is denoted by A zero, which has been assumed as one. I mean, it is a normalized value. This drop in signal level corresponds to a decibel reduction of twenty log one upon square root of twice, twice. Okay, or three dB. According to FL, accordingly FL is referred to as lower three D frequency. Okay, FL is a is called lower three D frequency. We see that FL is that frequency for which the resistance R one equals the capacitive reactance one upon twice pi FL C one. Is it correct or not? The statement is correct. Yes, sir, correct. And then, in the high frequency region, other side of the plot, other side of the mid band frequency, above the mid band, the amplifier stage can often be approximated as a low pass circuit, as shown here. It is a low pass circuit. Such is the Case, for example, for the CE transistor stays, if we use the Miller approximation in terms of complex variables age, we can write this expression. Yes or no? Now see, this expression can be written or not. Now voltage, output voltage V O is uh, across the voltage C two. What is across C two? Okay, can it be written? It's kind yes. of voltage voltage divider only. Yes, sir, it can. Do. Everyone understand? It is a voltage divider. Voltage across C two is the audio. Okay, it can be written and it also can be written as this one. Okay, same method. Okay, same method. Little manipulation, numerator and denominator, multiply or divide by something. Same thing. Hence, the transfer function in this region has a single pole of H equals to minus one upon R two C two. From this equation, twelve five, twelve minus five, we can write the pole. Pole equals to what? Minus one upon R two C two. This is understood, Aman. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, I understood. Okay. So, A H. We are not denoting not A L. It is A H because it is higher side of the um, amplifier frequency response. Okay. Beyond the mid band. So we are writing this expression. Okay. That is. Uh, P O by V I same thing expression is same of the gain only notation we are changing here because it is high frequency we are writing A H earlier we have written A L okay and for the phase angle lead angle of theta H we are writing now uh, theta H earlier we are we have written theta L 
So the gain of the hypotenuse region is written as this. Same way, okay. And theta h equals to minus octane of f by f h, where f h is written as one upon twice pi r two c two. Same concept for hypotenuse regions. Okay, here it is acting as a low pass filter. Understood this ones? Yes. Sir. Going further in the same plot, what we have already seen. Since at a equals to f h, the gain is reduced to one upon twice square root of two. Same way. Yes or no? If in this equation, if you write a equals to f h. Then it is becoming one, then square root of two. Yes or no? One upon square root of two or not? Yes, sir. So same thing is written here. It is one upon square root of two times its mid band value of the gain. Then F H is called the upper three D frequency. Means some here frequency if you if it is. Uh, F equals to F H, then gain is 0.707. Yes or no? 707 of the midband frequency. In this zone, whatever frequency you have, it's it's multiplied by that band, that band. I mean, lower. If it is one, then it is 0.707. Same thing is here in the lower side also. It is called FL. It is called FH. Understood? It also represents that the frequency at which the resistance R2 equals the capacitive reactance one upon twice pi F H C2. Same way. It was FL. It is now F. It is now FH. In the above expression, theta l and theta h represent the angle by which the output leads the input, lead angle, neglecting the initial 180 degree phase, because CS amplifier or CE amplifier, this amplifier is by default 180 degree phase shift occurs. It is beyond that. Okay, <clears throat> it is beyond that. The frequency dependence of the gains in high and low frequency range is to be seen in this uh, board plot. <coughs> what is bandwidth? The frequency range from FL to FH is called the bandwidth. Not from the zero frequency to the other end zero frequency. It is from 3D frequency to 3D frequency other side. Low three D frequency and upper side also everything F L and F H that is called the bandwidth. <coughs> Now, if you cascade for the one stage, then what will happen to the gain and the bandwidth? We'll see that. Uh, When you are cascading multiple stages, n number of stages, then we will see that the bandwidth is decreasing. We will see this uh, gradually. Band bandwidth increase will occur. <coughs> the 3 dB frequency for n cascaded stages is denoted by a p star, and equals the frequency for which the overall voltage gain falls. 3 dB to 1 upon square root of 2 of its mid band value. To obtain the overall transfer function of non-interacting stages, the transfer gains of individual stages are multiplied. Suppose you have three stages you are cascading, then what will be the Mm, overall gain. We have seen earlier. Also, we have seen that two stages. If it is cascaded, then 
the gains are multiplied isn't it yes sir so similarly n stages are here and the gain overall gain is obtained as multiplication of the individual uh, stage gains for n stages with identical upper three d frequencies we have in this f h one equals to f h two etc till f h n all equals to f h is written here because all are assumed to be same f h thus f h star is calculated as this okay as this which can be further written as this f h star by f h equals to square root of 2 to the power 1 upon n minus 1 for example for n equals to 2 means two stages you are cascading so f h star divided by f h will be what it is 0.64 do you agree with this see the equation here f h by f h star and your stages n equals to 2 so two stages you are cascading so this ratio will be what f h star will be what f h star equals equals to f h into square root of 2 to the power 1 upon n minus 1 so n equals to 2 here so what will be the value of this 2 to the power half is what Would you put half is what? Yes, one point. One point four one. One point four something. Okay. Then minus one. So if you subtract minus minus one is here, then and then if you uh, take the square root, then what will be value? If you have calculator or mobile, you see just calculate and tell me. Point six four. Point six four only. Okay. So. Then f star is what? F star equals to f h into that value, point six four. So suppose f h or the uh, upper three D frequency is ten kilohertz, for example, is ten kilo. F h equals ten kilohertz. Then what is happening? The f f h star means f h star means your what? Overall, overall upper three D frequency. Is increasing or decreasing? It's decreasing. Decreasing 10 into 0.64, so it is decreasing. You can take any other value also of n, n equals to 3, n equals to 4, and then you will see that gradually, I mean, as you increase the um, stages, you will see that uh, the upper three D frequencies for the overall. Stays overall amplifier to be reduced. Okay. See for F H equals to ten has been taken as an example, and overall bandwidth of six point four kilohertz. Okay, individual was ten kilohertz, but overall is six point four kilohertz. So reduction has been taken place. Okay, reduction of frequency has been about three frequency has been taken place. Similarly. Three cascades, ten kilohertz stages, give a resultant upper three frequency of 5.1 kilohertz. If you calculate, you'll get this value. If the low three frequency for n identical non-interacting cascade stages is F L star, then correspondingly we can find out this expression. See, there is a difference here. It can be Calculated and uh, as one upon here, it is. It was not one upon earlier. See that expression. It was not one upon. Okay. Here in this case, in case of F L, it is one upon one upon square root of two to the power one upon n minus one. Understood. So in this case, what will happen? We see that the cascade of stages has a lower F H and a higher F L because it is one upon 
this thing suppose if it is two states this value is going to be how much this lower uh, denominator is going to be what 0.64 or not four. yes sir there is a 64 and suppose your fl is 10 so multiply with 10 uh because if if, if if fl star you are going to find out that is overall so so it will be fl star fl star is going to be fl fl into uh, sorry divided by no so divided divided by 0 0.64 uh, 4 that means 10 divided by 0 0.64 so it is going to increase or decrease so increase increase so here fl is increasing and fh is decreasing if you are cascading the multiple stages could you understand so yes, sir. Think, well, let me go back to the uh, diagram here suppose earlier here is the fl now it is increase fl is increasing and fh is decreasing so ultimately bandwidth is bandwidth is from this point to this point bandwidth is shrinkage or sinking yes or no yes sir so statement given here is that resulting in a shrinkage in bandwidth so simple question may be asked if you cascade the amplifiers ce amplifier or any that kind of amplifier ce amplifier if it is it fed then we call it ce amplifier common source amplifier if it is with vzt it will be common emitter amplifier if you do that what will happen to the overall bandwidth overall bandwidth is going to be shrinking and that's what is so if the amplitude response for a single stage is plotted in log log paper then we'll get this kind of uh, things okay now low frequency response of rc coupled amplifier this will discuss and end our class today carefully see the diagrams and the discussion is for uh, ch as well as c when a fed based as well as i mean fed means j fed or mosfet based in general fed you can say that is j fed or mosfet as well as it is for bjt based so the effect of the bypass capacitor CZ, CZ is here. It is now CE. We are talking. This this is uh, regarding C amplifier for C stays or CS uh, CS for um, common source amplifier stays. Common source amplifier stays. The diagram is shown in the next place. Space. I'll show you later. <coughs> the effect of bypass capacitor CZ or CH on the low frequency characteristics discussed in this section. For present, we assume that these capacitors are arbitrarily large and act as AC short circuits across RE. RE is this one. Or uh, RH respective. RH is this one. Once it is fed based, this is RH. Okay, this is the second first stage, this is the second stage RH. And this is CH. Okay, this is CH. A single intermediate stage of any of the cascades in figure 11, this one, bottom one, 12 11, may be represented schematically as shown in 12. Schematically, it is represented like this. The register RV represents this RV represents the gate register RG of for a FET. Gate register RG of a FET. 
okay in this diagram this is representing okay and equals r1 in parallel with r2 in case of transistor transistor version this one this is the r1 parallel r2 r1 parallel r2 why they are in parallel tell aman pratham anybody see once you do the ac analysis we are going to this a low frequency response means actually we are doing the ac analysis for that this will be grounded understood voltage source should be grounded so this r1 is coming in parallel with the r2 so this r1 r2 is in parallel so the transistor ry here ry this ry represents rc for a transistor rc for a transistor rc means this is rc this is collector resistance in vct vct version of the amplifier both the circuits are taken together and generalized so i am showing both the diagrams parallelly so resistor ry represents rc for a transistor or rd for an fit rd is this one understood aman is yes, understood and ri represent the input resistance of the following stress ri or this ri is the input resistance we have already studied what is input resistance output resistance of an amplifier input resistance of the following stress suppose this is the next stress so its input resistance it is indicating in this uh, diagram to industrial the low frequency equivalent circuit is obtained by neglecting all shunting capacitances and all junction capacitances by replacing amplifier a1 by its newton newton representation or equivalent now is for the simplification is occurring here how see that this two are parallel okay so that has been re, 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 replaced by ro prime and this two is two are in parallel have been replaced by ri prime okay and this has been obtained and this current is uh, see current was there that has been replaced with voltage which is ro prime ri mm, ro prime ri for a field effect transistor ri is infinite do you know that field effect transistor mosfet you have studied yes or no at the gate of yes, a mosfet if you at the gate of a mosfet you have the silicon dioxide insulator okay so input resistance is very high the output impedance ro is rd for a mosfet okay drain resistance or output resistance and i equals to gmbi transconductor times the gate input signal for a transistor this quantities may be expressed in terms of hybrid parameters ri equals to hi we know that yes or no ri equals to yes sir H hi is what input resistance input resistance uh, for small values of rc and ro equals to 1 upon hoe that also we have studied recently and i equals to hfib current is hfib current gain into ib where ib is the base in signal current and ro prime represents the ro in parallel with ry that already we have discussed and ri prime equals to ri parallel rb and this uh, this two representing ri prime then these two parallel combination representing this one okay then replacing i and ro prime by the thermonis equivalent the single time constant high frequency high pass circuit 
of certain B results. You get this from here, you get this one. Hence, from equation 12 dash 3, the low 3D frequency can be written as this. That can be written or not. We have already FL, we have got the FL and we can do it. Resistance is total. Here, this one and this one and CB is the capacitor. So, that is the time constant. Here, FL. We got this 1 upon twice pi R, where R equals to this combination of these two and C is CB. This result is easy to remember since the time constant equals CB multiplied by the sum of the effective resistance R prime to the left of the blocking capacitor. Okay, in this side. Okay, is it understood? Yes, I understood. For the foreign fit amplifier, Ri prime equals to Rg much greater than Rd. Since RO prime less than RD because RO prime is RD in parallel with RO, then RI prime equals to RG much greater than RO prime, and A phase can be written as almost equals to 1 upon twice pi CBRG. Why we are writing CBRG? That is explained because of the values are so much RG much greater than RD etc. for a fit amplifier. Now one example. It is desired to have a three low 3D frequency of not more than 10 Hz for an RC coupled amplifier for which Ry equals to 1 kilo ohm. What minimum value of coupling capacity is required if fades with Rg equals to 1 mega ohm and transfer with Ri equals to 1 kilo ohm and 1 upon HOE equals to 40 kilo ohm are used. This is the question and solution is also here. Okay, for the one, this one, fades with Rg equals to 1 mega ohm. Uh, we have this expression. We have just now seen the expression that should be less than or equals to 10. FL that is given here, 3 dB lower 3 dB frequency is 10 Hz. Okay, so from this expression, you can write this CB greater than equals to this. You can write, and since Ri prime given as 1 mega ohm, RO prime less than RO RY equals to 1 kilo ohm, then RO prime plus Ri prime equals to almost equals to 1 mega ohm. And we get the value of CB greater than equals to 0 0.016 microfarad. Yes, you can calculate this and you get this value. Similarly, for 2, 2 is transistors with Ri equals to 1 kilo ohm and 1 upon HOE equals to 40 kilo ohm. We can calculate the CB equals to 8 microfarad. I hope you can achieve this value, putting the values in these equations. Now, this is concluding uh, remarks about the low frequency response of RC coupled amplifier. What you can conclude in this is, note that the, because the input impedance of a transistor is much smaller than the, that of a FET. FET, what you saw in mega ohm? And it is in kilo. Just in this example, you see, for the fate, it is how much? Rg is 1 mega ohm, whereas for Ri, uh, for uh, the transistor is 1 kilo ohm. So it is talking about that only. Because the input impedance of transistor is much smaller than that of a fate, a coupling capacitor is required with the transistor, which is 500 times larger than that required for effect. Fortunately, it is possible to obtain physically small electrolytic capacitors ha having such high capacitance values at the low voltages at which transistors operate. 
since the capacitance is required, coupling capacitance is required for a good low frequency response are far larger than those obtainable in integrated circuits. Cascade integrated stages must be direct coupled. So that kind of coupling capacitance may be difficult in integrated circuits. So direct coupling is uh, used in integrated circuit or ICs. That's what is the comment on this topic and it is this low frequency uh, response of RC couple amplifiers over and uh, yes there is a problem in um, direct coupling also what is that problem can you remember if you cascade one stage with the another stage directly then what may be happening we have discussed if you can remember okay otherwise try to refer back there is a problem in direct coupling also. It is difficult sometimes. Okay. So now in the next class, we'll discuss the time starts high frequencies, hybrid pi model and parameters. So I'll be marking here for the next class. Okay. So, all of you prepare from the first module for the exam on Friday. Leave the class and join other classes if you have.